Hi, good morning, everybody. I'm still a little bit croaky, I am afraid. I think it's slowly getting better, but yeah, it's driving me mad a little bit, to be perfectly honest. What we're going to be looking at today, which you can probably see from the thumbnail, is things that will fit dolls, but are not for dolls. You know what I mean. If you collect dolls, you know what it's like. You walk around a shop and go, oh, oh, maybe that'd fit, maybe that'd fit. We all do it. But around Christmas, it's quite fun because there's more novelty items out there. Now, the first two, now these were all from Asda, Asda Living we've got here. We have an Asda that is a, well, a little local one, which is food. And then we have an Asda Living uh, which is sort of for sort of clothing, etc, etc, etc. I know, I think the big Asdas would probably have these in as well. Now, these were the first two I found. Ta-da! Yes, they are doggy accessories. But I reckon it's a smart doll. Definitely. We've got a doll here. We're going to try it on her so you will get to see it. And again, you've seen the pictures anyway. It does have a rather large bow, which would be a bow tie for the little doggy. But I reckon that would work for the Blythe. So I'll have a little Blythe here as well so we can try that out. So those are the first two I found. Not bad price either. You will see the details when I go top down. The other thing I got, which I was thinking more smart doll, was I've done these before. I know you've seen them. The little doggy shoes, little pussycat shoes. I think they're fairly for dogs, aren't they? Um, but they do make very nice smart doll slipper socks. And because these are Disney, I thought that was really super cute. So I'm quite pleased with those. I think they'll be really nice. Now, the last thing, there were other things, but this is the last one I bought. Not quite sure. It is a tree decoration. It is a backpack which I think is quite cute. I've got doll hair on it now as well. The Blythe I've got down here, she's a blonde one and she sheds like mad. Um, so yes, it is a little backpack. We're gonna have a proper look at it. It is glued down, but I reckon with a bit of TLC, we could get in there because it's just got stuffing in it. So I think if we could just get that undone, a little crest of a Velcro, something like that, and we could have it. I have my Cindy down here. I've also got the Blythe down here. I don't know, the size I think is a little bit big, but I don't know if she was backpacking along, oh, I don't know, around the world or something. Perhaps she'd need a big backpack, so it might work. So we're going to look at all these top down. I'm going to try them on the doll, see what you think. I'm going to take some photos at the end, so there'll be some photos to look at. Um, and just so generally have a bit of fun with it. And if you were wanting to then pick them up yourselves, you've still got time before everything runs out, which is what's starting to happen already, I've noticed, in various places. So I will see you in a second, top down, and we'll have a look at these goodies that I got from Asda Living. I'll see you in a second. Hi, well, let's have a look at how these sort of, sort of dog accessories, for want of a better word, are going to work on the dolls. I think it's going to be predominantly smart doll size they're going to fit, or they would, I reckon they'd fit sort of our generation size doll, something like that as well. I think that would be quite good. But I think it is going to be veering towards the larger doll. The sun's just come pouring in through the window. I hope it's not made too much of a difference there. So I think I'm going to start with these. As you can see, I paid £3 for this. It is a dog scarf. Mm. <laughs> if you can get it on your dog, it is a dog scarf. I know my husband suggested putting it on the cat, and I really don't recommend that. I know she wouldn't even remotely let me. I'm just looking, actually. What's that about? Why is that like that? I don't know. Oh, there's the little tag. Oh, it's a little thing that you push through, that's all. We've got a few little tags. That's a quite a good idea, actually. I suppose it holds it in place. So we're going to get this one off first. So it should be quite a quick video of this. It's just for a bit of fun. And in case you sort of wanted to get them, sometimes they do them on offer as well. This is definitely, definitely smart doll size. That's a little bit where you just thread it through. I would be cutting labels off as well. So let's have a look, Mrs. Smart Doll. I know I'm doing it round her hair, but... I think that makes that is going to make a really nice size scarf for her. I will do some photos at the end so you'll be able to see them. I know I've squashed her hair down, bless her like that. But I think for now it's the easiest way of showing it. And that sun is coming in something terrible. Bear with me. I'm actually going to close my blind a little bit. I'm back. I'm going to have to rely on the artificial light a little bit because it's gone really bright out there. So scarf. 100% happy with that and I think it would fit plenty of dolls of those sort of lengths and sizes so that is quite good I think the only thing is like with the hat won't fit a lot of those dolls but I'm pretty sure it's going to fit the smart doll I'm hoping it is you can see the hat was it's a hat and bow tie set it was four pound this one 
and we have a little bit of elastic i don't really need that for the smart doll i'll tuck it in for now but i don't know i'm at, i'm hoping i'm right here but i just what, thought it just looked right and i think it is it is it is it is come on go on yeah oh look at that that is perfect that is spot on smart doll size i think um so a lot of your bjds that are around this height it will fit so you've got like one third scale doll really there so i i love that i think that was the hat that got me first that's what i was thinking about now they do do a little pair of the socks in this and i didn't see it last time so i actually bought the disney ones but we'll look at those in a second so i want to finish off with this package first so smart doll has a lovely new hat and scarf set and then there's this bow tie, which clearly is way too big for our smart doll. But a few little plastic bits here that I don't like. Our blithes, they look great. Again, though, your American girls, etc. These probably would make nice little sort of headbands. So I'm going to pull, pull in a, a little blithe here. And it is velcroed, so that makes it easy to use. We do need to sort of tidy that little bit up. I think I want to sort of trim that off, perhaps, because it is meant to be, as I say, a dog bow tie, not a doll. Look at that! Yay! So I'm getting full value out of this four pound. So my blade has a little headband. I do want to trim some of the uh, felt in places. It's a little bit sort of wonky, but I will sort that out. But I think otherwise that makes a perfect little headband for her i'm quite pleased with that one so a smart doll has a hat and scarf at the moment my little blythe has a cute cute headband now for cindy now i thought this this is the decoration i bought but looking at it i suppose if she was backpacking a long way it might be okay you're going on a long trip oh i don't know let's try it there's me thinking it would be way too big i'm not so sure it's gone over her shoulders nicely which is good and yeah, look at that. That's really cool. Now, that was a £3 Christmas decoration. And I think that's a nice size. Got little pockets in the side. It is, is it glue? I think it is glued down. But I think if you was very, very, very careful, if you wanted it as a functional backpack, that was, you could just very carefully get that off. A little bit of Velcro, either side, stick it back down. Because all that's in it is stuffing. So it is an actual little bag inside. I mean, that's a faux pocket, of course. Um, but I oh, can't fold it back down there. Put it back down. But yeah, I think that looks great. What do you think? I think that's nice. She's got a little sort of faux roll up. Although I reckon the way that's constructed, that is just stitched into place with a little bit of glue. I think that is actually a proper little rolled up piece of fabric um so i wouldn't touch it i think it looks okay as it is so i wouldn't mess about and i just think that's cute so if you're in some photos and the doll's going for a walk or a hike or something like that that's worked out really nice i'm gonna have so many photos to take aren't i so the last item i actually bought from asda was these now as you know i've bought these before so our two smaller girls can go to one side and we need our smart girl for her feet and let's have a look. I just thought they were cute because they were Disney as well. But when I when I saw that they got matching the actual uh, hat and scarf, I thought, oh, I didn't see that. And I think they were only three pound as well. What were these? These were four pound, but they're Disney, so you pay that a little bit extra. So we get all the little tags out. Now, obviously, these aren't socks that would go under sort of um, a pair of shoes. They're slipper socks, aren't they? They would work. Let's see. They've got a slightly different shape to my previous ones, so I'm not convinced the shape is as good because they are wider. Does it say what size? It just says pet socks. Now, when I've bought pet socks in the past, they've done like small, medium and large, obviously, for different size dogs. And I've always bought the small. So I think if you were looking at these, I think they're a little bit wide for the smart dog. Let me bend your leg up, missus. Yep, so you can see. Um, the top fits quite nicely, but this is definitely a little bit too wide. Perhaps I should have bought the other one because they did look straighter when you looked at them. So, yeah, again, maybe an American Girl doll or a doll like the Disney, perhaps the Disney animated dolls. They've got wider feet, whereas our smart doll's got quite a narrow foot, as you can see. So I think they would work for some dolls. 
but I think they need to have a wider foot because then obviously that's going to fill that out. But it would make a really cute little sock for a doll. Unfortunately, maybe not for my smart doll. I will find something to use these on. Don't worry about it, whether they'll be sleeping bags for something or something. But yeah, definitely for a larger doll. So I'm a little bit disappointed about that one, but not too bad. But I'm absolutely over the moon with her set. So I'm going to get her dressed up and we can take some photos of her. I'll pop them to one side. The bow is absolutely perfect. And the backpack, really pleased. Now, I said I was doing this the As the Living things, but we went to a Christmas fair. Well, it was our local light switch on and there was a little stall and I did pick something up, which I couldn't resist. <gasps> Look at these. These cost me just £3. Not even worth trying to make them for that price. I mean, I do make things like I can make things like this, but you know, it's just not worth it, is it? And of course it wasn't for me, although I did put them in my hair and they do look quite cute. So the clips are a little big, but I think as soon as you sort of get the hair in place and everything, I think I think they look absolutely adorable. So the Blythe's ended up with two little gifts there. I think she looks great. Uh, really pleased with the backpack. I'm really pleased with all of it, actually. I'm just a little bit sort of sad that the little slippers, sort of the little Disney slippers here, are a little bit on the wide side. It's just this bit. I wonder if I could take them in, actually. Let's have a look. You could. You, I might, I might do that because otherwise they're going to be a waste because I haven't got a doll with wider feet. I might just sort of take the sewing machine down there, just either side, and then turn them inside out. Because I've used people's socks to make stockings for dolls, so it's only going to work on the same principle. So I think I would do that. I turn them inside out and just sort of get rid of this width here. So if you get rid of that width straight down, you could hand stitch that easy enough anyway and just make it a little bit narrower to actually fit on the smart doll so she could wear them. So I think they would work. Just a little bit of work on those. So that was just a bit of a fun video. I just want to let you know before they sell out, if you're wanting any of sort of these for your dolls as accessories, it, I would I recommend them. I really would. 100% on all of them just a shame about the socks so thank you so much for watching just a bit of a fun video uh let me know if you managed to get some or if you've seen them in other shops that fit as well i mean i'm saying this is dog i'm not quite sure i think it just perches on the top of the dog's head that i can't possibly fit a dog's head can it and that's what the elastic band is about to so hold it in place so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoy my videos generally please like subscribe and share i know i'm a little bit eclectic on all over the place but i do hope you do enjoy them and i will see you all very soon and bye bye for now